Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. This is Allegro. Thank you so much for coming back to watch yet another video. And if you are new here, please do subscribe and join our YouTube family. It is a growing family, a relatively new one, but we are on the up and up and it is because of you. Thank you so much to everyone that continues to share my videos, comments, likes, you know, I see them all and I'm, I'm always looking forward to engaging with you guys in the comment section after every video I post. So thank you so much um, to all of you that engage and if you have nothing to say wait till I have something to say and hopefully you'll join the conversation but um, in today's video I just really wanted to talk about the power of speaking things into existence and this is good things into existence speaking your dreams into existence I am a believer of that there are so many things in my life that I have literally spoken into existence that I have um you know, visualized and, and told myself that these things would happen even long before they happen. I'm talking years before they happen. And when it finally happened, I thought to myself, wow, this does work. It does happen. You know, you can speak something into existence. And, um, you know, it's not just as easy as speaking things into existence. Of course, there is the law of attraction, which says um, we we attract what we focus on. So in your mind, in your heart, um, whatever that you focus on every single day, you know, um, whether it's it's a particular goal that you have in mind, whether it's a dream of yours that you have um, in mind and you're constantly working towards it, um, you will attract it. You know, things will line up in your path that are meant to you in order for you to reach that particular goal that you set for yourself, that you spoke into existence long before you even achieved it. And and like I said, I've seen it so many times in my own life where, I mean, I'll give an example. When I was very young, I always used to say, one day I'm going to have um, a company called Ogela. I'm going to reverse my name and it will be something big and I know it's going to happen. And I remember being in like high school and my friends would ask me, okay, but what is this company going to do? Um, when I was scribbling my name backwards in math class, my friends would ask me, what are you doing? What is that? And I said, I'm not really sure, but I know it's going to be something big one day and to be honest years later almost 20 years later almost you know it just it happens you know you walk you walk towards it every single day and this is not me saying to you just speak anything good that you want to happen over your life and then you sit back because that's not how it works you speak something into existence by also practicing you know and working hard towards that specific goal that you set for yourself every single day but the difference was just setting a goal and setting it and speaking it into existence is the fact that you are attracting it you are you are walking um working towards uh you know attaining that dream that goal every single day even with your actions you don't just, similar with pray, I mean, you don't just pray for something like, God, I want this huge company, God, I want, you know, um, a family, a house and this, and you don't work towards, it's not going to fall on your lap. You know, I believe in miracles, but it's not going to fall on your lap. What do you do? You wake up every day, every morning, you work hard, you know, and you put your money together and you make sure that you pair those goals with your hard work and your prayer and things will happen. And this is very similar. This is very similar to, you know, how the law of attraction works and also just speaking things into existence. So I want to give you guys a few tips on how to actually do this and see results. Um, firstly, get a journal, get a notebook and a pen, write things down. Um, similar to the, the video that I shared in the beginning of the year about setting your, your goals for 2021, um, I'm a believer of just pen and paper, putting something on paper for me I feel like it holds me accountable and I am more it, I just feel like it's gonna happen when I write it down as opposed to if I just kind of think about it and tell myself in my mind and then just let it go um, so write jot down a couple of those dreams um, that you have in mind your goals your dreams put them down and speak them as you write them say I want this and this this is what I see for myself this is the kind of life that I envision um, you know speak great things over your life whatever they are speak great things and it's not just materialistic things um, it could be very spiritual personal things things, write them down, then speak those things to yourself and believe them. You know, you need to believe in your own dreams even before you see it. That's what a lot of successful people um, will tell you that 
I believed in myself when nobody believed in me. I believed in myself when the chips were down and no one thought I would get back up, you know. Um, and that's not because they, they were 100% sure that they would get up, but they believed so much that they could get up, that they were willing to do anything um, to be the person that they, they saw themselves being, to be in the success that they saw themselves being and achieving. So um, it's really just in your mind and what you say to yourself and what you speak over your life. Um, words have power. Words are very, very powerful. I mean, <sighs> there's life and death in words. Just just that alone. If you, you, you curse somebody or you bless somebody, there's power in words, um, and I, I absolutely believe in that. So once you've journaled those down, whatever your goals are, your dreams are, whatever affirmations you want to you know, affirm to yourself, practice those in how you walk every day, in your journey every single day. You know, practice those and if it's waking up in the morning, if you write down, you know what, I want to get in the best shape of my life. I want to look good. I want to feel good. You have to eat right. You have to exercise. You have to mind what you feed your, your mind, your spirit, your soul. All of those things encompass who you are physically and spiritually. It's not just eating right and then doing nothing else. You know, um, not exercising, not sleeping on time, not drinking enough water. It's not really going to work. So make sure that whatever you've put down, you also write what is necessary. What are the necessary steps for you to get to um, those goals. If you write down, I want to buy a house by the time I'm th this age, you know, maybe by 35, I want my own home in my own name. Um, and currently your financial situation is probably not looking well. Well, maybe you should identify those things first. Identify the negatives in your current situation. Perhaps you might have some debt. First, restructure your debt and repayment um, plan. Make sure that you rid yourself of debt. Make sure that you start saving up for your future home. Decide if you're going to buy or build. Decide on so many things and fix your credit score. And, you know, those are just examples of how you build towards, you know, attaining and, uh, you know, the things that you spoke into existence. Um, you don't just say, I want a home one day, you know, I'll see, it might happen. But I mean, that's what I'm just putting out there in the universe and hopefully the universe will listen. Um, but the universe can't give you, the universe, pardon me, can't give you and God can't bless you with something that you're not ready for. You need to be prepared. You need to be ready. You need to walk, um, work um, towards it. I keep saying walk instead of work and work for walk. Look, tongue just <laughs> But anyway, um, you need to literally work for that specific thing. If you don't put in the work, then it's just words. You know, it's just something good that you want to say to yourself, and then that's about it. But if you practice that thing every single day, if you improve yourself every day, if you are ready and you position yourself um, in a place that you're ready to receive that blessing, to receive that thing that you spoke it into existence, then it will happen. And it will happen at the right time for you. You will not, you will not miss it. It will not miss you. It will just be God's perfect timing for your life. I truly and honestly believe that. So I want to encourage you to speak things into existence, speak your dreams into existence. Um, you know, do some research about the law of attraction. And you know, there's lots of examples even on the internet that you know, um, besides from just personal experiences, you'll read other people's stories and they'll tell you what they literally attract attracted for themselves, whether they went into a fasting and it was just praying. Remember prayer, you also use words, you're praying and all those things that they prayed for and asked for and believed that they deserved, in the end they got them, you know, one after another they got them. The life that they knew they were destined to live, they lived it, they achieved it, they were, they were positioned in the perfect place to receive all of those blessings, to receive that life, that gift, whatever it may be, but they were in the perfect place to receive it, and you, you literally, you need to position yourself, otherwise um, you can't just speak and then say, well, I'm going to drift away and do whatever else that I want to do, and it'll find me, the universe will make a plan, that's not how it works, so um, let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section, have you ever spoken anything into existence, um, have you ever, you know, written something down, prayed over it, spoke it, 
um, into existence to yourself, just spoke it to yourself and then seen it happen, affirmed something and, you know, it just boosted your confidence and you knew who you were and you stood and you got ready to receive what you had prayed for, what you had worked hard for. Um, if if the, the law of attraction has worked for you, please let me know um, if you've seen it physically happen, manifesting in your life. Drop us a comment in the comment section. Let's continue the conversation there. That's just what I wanted to share with you guys today. I hope you'll come back for another video and I'll talk to you guys then. Bye.